So this question looks like a simplified question. We know that because it's one line long. Simplified questions are typically between one and three lines. And we see this expression here, nine to the three fourths power. So looking at this, I don't know exactly how to simplify nine to the three fourths power. This is the non-calculator section of the test, so I can't just simply put that into my calculator and find an answer. So I'm gonna take a look at the answer choices. I see that all of the answer choices have a radical, right? Some, some of them have a nine under the radical, uh, two of them have a three under the radical, which tells me I'm going to need to tr or convert, I'm gonna have to convert this fraction exponent into a radical form. All right, so how do I do that? So what I do is the denominator of the fraction becomes the type of root, so it's a fourth root. And then the, the number here goes under there, so nine, and then the numerator becomes a power on that number. So I just converted it directly. I don't see that that's one of my answers, but maybe I'm gonna cross out answer choice A because it has a cube root. I know that we're dealing with fourth roots. Um, so I'm going to stop with that. And then, then, because I don't see this answer listed, I'm going to say, well, must mean that I need to simplify this further some way. And here's where things get a little bit tricky. So experience with this test tells me that anytime I don't see an answer listed based upon um, some number to a power that I have, right? So it's 9 to the third power. I'll just write it down here. That usually, right, and I would say 10 out of 10 times if you're in this scenario where the answer is not listed, but you know that you did the conversion right, or you know that you've, you know, the, the, the number and exponent that you have is correct. Usually, what we need to do is look at this base number here and find a smaller number that can be raised to a power that equals that same value. So looking at 9, I can say, well, 9 is the same as 3 squared. So 9 to the third power can be rewritten as 3 squared to the third power. Now 3 squared to the third power is equal to 3 to the sixth power, okay? Which means I have, instead of a fourth root of 9 to the third, I have a fourth root of 3 to the sixth power. Now how do I simplify that? Well, Next, by looking at my answer choices, I see that I'm down to having a 3 under the radical, so I'm going to cross out choice B. Right? So choice C and D have a 3 there, so I'm happy with that. So then how do I simplify a fourth root, to the three, uh, fourth root of 3 to the 6th power? Well, a couple of things. I'm going to break this down much more than I really need to, but just for visual purposes, I want to make sure you see why uh, this next step makes sense. So the fourth root of three to the sixth is the same as the fourth root of three times three times three times three times three times three, right? Six of those threes. And fourth root, what does it mean? Fourth root just means you know, what times itself four times, right? If there's a number times itself four times within a fourth root radical, um, you can pull that out. So these four threes right here, Right, constitute right a number times itself four times. So I can cross all these off and then take one three to the front of the fourth root. So this becomes three and then fourth root of, then of course I have two of these left, so three squared. Okay, so that's my next step. So realistically, the fact that I was able to do that tells me that C can't be the right answer because C doesn't have a three out in front leaving me with D as the correct answer, even though I don't fully understand how I got from th you know, 3, 4 through to 3 squared down to just 3 square root 3. That would be the most logical answer. Now, I can show you how to get that, right? And really, some of what I'm going to do is say, well, if I know D has to be the right answer, how is it possible that the 4 through to 3 squared is equal to the square root of 3? So I am actually going to convert this back to fraction exponent. So this becomes 3 to the 2 over 4, right? Remembering that the root becomes the denominator and the power here becomes the, the numerator. So 3 to the 2 fourths, well, I can reduce that fraction because 2 over 4 is the same as 1 half. So 3 to the 1 half. And then when I convert that back 
to um, radical form, this becomes a square root of 3, okay? Right, because I don't have to put the 2 and the 1 there. It's just the same as that. It's understood. So that's how, that's how this fourth root of 3 squared is actually equal to the square root of 3, and that's why our final answer here is 3 root 3.